The plan for tonight is to walk you through what it would be like if you came in for an information session. So we're going to start out by checking out divisions on the drill deck. We'll do a quick tour of the unit and we'll go through a full information session. Well, there it is. Let's head out for divisions. Sailor third class Pehe, promoted. Sailor second class. So that's how we start off most nights with divisions. It's a chance for us to all get together, uh, practice our drill, make any uh, announcements or upcoming news that needs to be communicated to the sailors, uh, as well as awards and presentations, promotions, things like that. So a good way to start off the night. So we'll start the tour here at the brow. The brow is where you would cross onto a ship from the jetty. Uh, onto the ship and as our members enter the building for the night uh, we will come to attention and salute as if we were crossing the brow on a ship. Uh, once we get onto the brow there's a couple things I like to talk about here. Uh, one of the first things is the quarter deck. Here we have our duty watch. So in the Canadian Armed Forces we are responsible for our own security. Uh, some bases and units will have uh, commissioners or other security personnel. However, here at HMCS Chippewa, we take care of the security ourselves. So we're all on a duty watch rotation where we will be assigned dates where we're on duty and we are responsible for the security of the building. Say hello to the duty watch tonight. Sailor second class, August. How are you doing tonight? Not too bad, yourself? Good, keeping us safe? Uh, yes, we are. Awesome, thank you. 100% ID checks up here, right? The next thing I like to talk about here uh, on my tour is I'll take a stop by the night orders. The night orders are basically a schedule for all the different training activities we're gonna be doing on any given evening and other activities as well. I like to compare it to a university schedule because sometimes people think, how can you learn the skills to be in the Navy in just three hours once a week? Uh, but I remember when I was in school, you know, some classes are three times a week, one hour, but I had a couple courses that were three hours once a week. So we do about the same thing. Each of the different occupations is gonna have a training program that runs throughout the season. You're gonna work away at it in three hour chunks. I also take a look at the night orders to see what's going on tonight myself so I can time where I want to be on my tour stops. Let's head over to the band room. One, two, three, and... Well, sounds like they're having fun in there. Next up, we're gonna head to the boat bay. Okay, so this is the boat bay. Our rib is currently in for a tune-up after heavy use uh, during Exercise Prairie Sailor. Uh, but we've got a couple of our boats here. Let's go see what the bosuns are doing. Here we are in the bosun workshop. What are you guys up to tonight? Uh, so we're, uh, we're uh, teaching uh, everyone how to do an alongside, which is basically approaching a jetty with the boat. Fantastic, and I notice you're also enjoying the band rehearsal. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks, guys. Sweeping the deck like a good sailor. Okay, right off the boat bay, we have the dive locker, so let's go take a look. Hi, I'm S1 Grewal, a member of the dive department here at HMCS Chippewa. And if you follow me into here, this is our wet locker, it's where we hold all of our diving equipment. We've got our buoyancy compensators right here, along with our, all of our dive tanks. Uh, along the wall, if you look here, we've got all of our agas, so all of our breathing apparatuses here. Yeah, all of our pressure gauges, lots of technical equipment. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks for your time. Thanks for yeah, showing me around. Of course, no worries, Bill. Okay, where to next? So on the second floor here, up here we've got a bunch of classrooms and offices and stuff like that. And we also have the simulator room, so I'll check that out next. Here we have our bridge simulator. We use this room for training for naval warfare officers and naval combat information operators. Just a few minutes ago, I was in here with Lieutenant Ridd, one of our naval warfare officers, and he was saying how he loves how this room is right next to the boiler room. 
So if you listen closely, it actually sounds like you're on a ship. Okay, next up we've got the operations room. You guys look busy. What are you working on in here? Right now we're doing uh, encode decode. We're just translating all these uh, all these letters from this book into uh, something that we can actually read in English, just so that we can understand any type of directions or commands that are going on. So these are mostly commands that are used on the ship in order to communicate messages. So let's say even if we were doing domestic operations, uh, instead of sending like a whole message signal, we would just put it down into a single code and then we would just send that code. And then that code will be decoded on the far end by a different communicator on the other side. And then they would know what the message is. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good night. Right all right, next up we have the engineering workshop. Hi, I'm uh, S3 Simmons. I'm a marine technician at HMCS Chippewa. Uh, and right behind me is the diesel uh, generator. It's a miniature diesel alternator of uh, the type that's found on the MCDBs. So I would take you to the galley next, but we actually had a burst pipe above the galley last week, uh, and there's been a, some substantial water damage. As you can see, we have all the light fixtures and other equipment drying out here and getting replaced and getting repairs and everything in there. Uh, so we'll have to check in on that another time. Uh, CEO needed to talk to you about something. Else. Roger, sir. Well, I can't get into ship's office without getting uh, called into the CO's cabin, so we'll check back in in a minute. Okay, well that meeting took so long, it's actually the next day. So here we are finally in ship's office. How are you doing tonight? Good, P.O. Hi, my name is Sailor 3 Class Andres, Human Resource Administrator, and I'm entering pay. Awesome, thank you. So in ship's office, we have our human resources administrators, our financial services administrators, and our logistics officers. Uh, next up, we're going to head up to the chiefs and petty officers mess. We'll finish up the tour in the chiefs and petty officers mess. In the Canadian Armed Forces, we have messes in military units because it's important for our members to be able to spend time together socially. It's good for morale and camaraderie. I noticed on the way down to my office that the recruits are doing a drill rehearsal. So one more stop on the tour. You're a team. Work as a team. Phase up front. But shoulder, arms. One, two, three, one. If you work, you put on with practice, but it's already a lot better. Well, the tour took a little bit longer than planned, so the new plan is to make a dedicated video for the application information session, which I'll be releasing next week. Instead, we'll be rolling some footage from earlier this year on our first training night, where we talked about the mission of the Naval Reserve, the reason that we have 24 Naval Reserve divisions across Canada, and we'll talk to some of our sailors. To help answering the question, what is the Naval Reserve, let's start by meeting some sailors. I'm Sailor 2nd Class Paul, I'm Officials Bozen, and uh, on the civilian side, I am a maintenance technician. I'm Sailor 3rd Class Fultz, I am a port inspection diver, uh, civvy side, I am a police officer with the Winnipeg Police Service. Hi, my name is Master Sailor Jordan Myers, I'm a musician here at Agency S. Chippewa, and a chiropractor. I am a Sailor 3rd Class Treason, I'm a naval communicator for HMCS Chippewa, uh, in my civilian life, I'm a uh, college student uh, going for my master's in counseling. Hi, I'm Sailor First Class Kupiak. I'm a musician with the Navy and civilian side, I'm a computer engineer. Hi, I'm Sailor Third Class Robert Solis. I'm an intelligence operator at HMCS Chippewa. In my civilian life, I am a healthcare support worker at Health Science Centre and a college student at the University of Winnipeg. Hi, my name is S3 Zapata. In the Navy, I'm a human resource administrator, and on the civilian side, I'm a med medical radiation technologist student. I'm Sailor First Class of Valerio, and I'm in the Navy. I'm a cook, and outside of that, I'm a nursing student at Red River College. I'm Lieutenant Commander Al Fillingham. In the Navy, I'm the Executive Officer of HMCS Chippewa, and in civilian life, I'm an airline pilot. Hi, I'm Sailor First Class Malcolm. On the military side, I'm a Marine technician. Civilian side, I'm a Millerite. So, what is the Naval Reserve? Simply put, we are the part-time component of the Royal Canadian Navy. As you just saw, Canadians with all different types of civilian careers are able to serve part-time with the reserves. Our mission is to generate trained individuals and teams to support Canadian Armed Forces operations. For example, in Manitoba, we often suffer from severe spring flooding. When you hear on the news that the military has been called in to help fight the flood, that's usually us. We also provide unique skill sets to the Canadian Armed Forces. For example, we have a port inspection diver team here at HMCS Chippewa. That's a highly specialized occupation. Also, we have specialized training in small boat handling. Because we are not on the coast, we spend a lot more time training on small craft. 
Another important function is to augment the regular force. The people that we have here are trained up and are able to voluntarily deploy with the regular force on operations. Finally, something that I have a lot of experience with and one of the reasons why we have 24 Naval Reserve Divisions across the country is to connect with Canadians and support our local communities. A good example of that is the Royal Canadian Navy Band of HMCS Chippewa, participating in local charity events and other functions, as well as myself as a recruiter and military career counselor, participating in job fairs, etc., and increasing Navy visibility. So thank you for joining me, and we'll see you next week.